Oh, look, it's like a bay. There we go. That looks like a pretty significant landmass with a coastline. All right, let's see what we have. Hello, everyone. Thranx is here, and welcome back to another beautiful day here in the Thranxian Expanse. Playing No Man's Sky episode 212. We don't have the names updated here yet. A little bizarre. And we do have Steam connectivity, and I have checked our network settings. We are, in fact, allowing multiplayer stuff. So I think what needs to happen is we have to kind of leave this area. I think logging out and logging back in isn't really getting us where we need to be. Um, as you can see, though, the base is completely powered. Which is very nice. Not certain why we were in third person, but let's grab some antimatter. 20 antimatter? Whoa. Wow. I don't know what to do with that. That's insane. Let's put it on our starship. Maybe we need to just bring you with us. Jeez. 20? Yeah, we might have a use. We might just be able to find a use for that. But I think we're going to be a little more deliberate in the more we try to use it. Look at all of this just loveliness here. I don't think we need that many microprocessors, but maybe. You never know. I think we'll hold on to them. We'll definitely hold on to these storm crystals. Although we could just knock out, let's see, one, two, three more warp hypercores. Oh my goodness, the humanity. Was that worth it? I don't know. Time will tell, probably. We'll put these up here. There you go. Looking pretty good. Cargo says, yes, looking, looking rather well. Can't complain. All right, let's assess our solar panel battery situation. Look at them all. Daylight remaining. Power storage is still climbing. Does that mean it's not full? I wonder if we're not actually achieving a full battery throughout the night. Hold on. And of course, we built this place before there were teleporters. We should just have a nice little teleporter down there. It might just be we have to improve this base more over time. I don't think we're going to mess with it just yet, though. Ooh, six more minutes until fully charged. However, there are not six minutes of daylight remaining. I think it'll be okay. Now, we do have the portal terminus is active. Uh, let's see if this has fixed itself. Have you, have you been sorted out yet? No. Some of these have power, and some of these do not. I don't really see a rhyme or reason to it. We could try to maybe plug the power into the... Wait, wait. It looks like that hall has power. Let's go underneath. So if we check this battery, it says 38 minutes until drained. Okay, so. That's not too bad. The question is, are we picking up a, a surplus or not? That's what it is. That's what it is. Do you see that? The question as to whether or not something is powered has to do with where the blocks are. Wait. Powered, unpowered, powered, unpowered. Right. And then if we look back here. Mm, there doesn't seem to be a rhyme or reason to it. There's very obviously wires connecting all of them. Well, we're not gonna we're not gonna dwell on this. Suffice to say, the base has power. Our storage is just not optimal. 
I think that means at some point we'll get rid of it. But just not yet. Instead, let's go ahead and put ourselves a nice... Can I build? You don't say. Is this not okay? What's going on? Darn you, these cuboid rooms are so out of control. Boom, right here. This is where we had it. Yeah. Wonderful. Now, let's see. Is there anything worth purchasing? I don't think we need any of this. That's a lot of gold. I don't really need gold. I mean, it probably wouldn't be the end of the world to grab some. Uh, we're already up to 4,000. We'll get more eventually. That's not a thing we have to worry about. Mordite, we'll probably need some of. Fecium, these need to be. But our plants, ah. Oh. That's what we'll do. So, first things first is we're trying to play at least one multiplayer round a day so that we can continue earning Quicksilver. Oh, we need that Quicksilver. Plus, this is going to help me stay ahead on videos since they take so incredibly long to upload now. So let's head up out of Terranautica. Break out of the atmosphere. Let's find a nice clear spot to summon the Nexus. Wonderful. And away we go. Mm, father time, Captain Cognition. Nice, very nice. All righty, we've arrived. Let's go. Oh, Father Time is initializing a mission. Hold on. Hang in there, Father Time. I'm coming. Burrowing Terror. Kill 49 monstrosities. Is that the mission? Restless Ancestors. Unearth Ancient Bones. I like that one. Oh, they all joined up on theirs really fast. That's what happens. Well, I mean, we proved yesterday we don't really have to have people help us with ours. But let's look at some of these ships while we're here. S38 plus 12. That's nice. Kind of standing outside their ship like they're an MP NPC Ninja Wolfie. That's pretty cool. 38 plus 12. Doesn't really look too too fancy. Oh, wow. Look at this fighter. I have not seen a heavy fighter this small. That's really neat. Look at that. Fixer 13s. Of course, everything here is, a, is an S38 plus 12, or at least that's what it says. I'm starting to wonder if that's the case. If it's not just messing up and saying that. Not that I doubt that everybody has one. This one is really cool. But I'm pretty sure that that shuttle is not a 38 plus 12 and correct me if I'm wrong but I'm almost positive a hauler goes up higher than 38 all right well nobody is joining so we're just gonna start it up Looks from works for me. Whoa, yes. Now that is a ship that I would sell a ship for. Look at that. Okay, well it's probably not fair to take a picture of somebody else's ship and put it in the thumbnail, but I think we may do that. I don't know. Maybe not. 
It's hard to get it though. There's a, it's like a busy background, right? Yeah. No, we won't mess with that too much. Okay. Well, let's just go do our mission. I doubt we'll use that for the thumbnail. And let's depart. Nice and quick, lickety split. There we go. Five planets, uncharted system, the Cohoideio system. I don't know. Look at this navy blue nebula. Whoa, that's kind of cool. All right, let's start scanning planets. What do we got? Planetary anomaly. Why do you do this to me? Because they want us to go and watch. I bet it's like a desert planet or something. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, exactly. It's like a decaying nuclear planet. No, you know what? If that's where the mission is, let's go. We need to get the Quicksilver. We can always go check out what the planetary anomaly is after the fact. 44 seconds till atmospheric entry. This planet already discovered by Hasty P. Buddha. Hmm. Then it's unlikely that the other planet is undiscovered. It's probably discovered by somebody as well. And I just didn't notice. Engine integrity seems to be holding. Uh, it looks more and more like our trajectory is going to carry us right into the day-night terminator. I'm thinking we're going to need to rotate more along our z-axis to maintain a proper trajectory into the atmosphere. We're going to roll left and reinitiate boosts on the horizon. Nope, engine keeps wanting to pull down to the checkpoint. Let's pulse jump. There we are. Estimating atmospheric entry in the next 10 seconds. Five seconds. Nope. Too soon. We came in a little fast. We're a little uh, ahead of our time on target. But this is the planets we need to be on. Oh. There's definitely some unstable atmospheric particles. Lots of high energy here. The terrain appears... Rather rugged in some areas and flat in others. I think we're going to look for a high point to set this down on. Let's gain some altitude. Now, oh, there we go. There's a plateau over here. Reverse thrusters. All right, let's set her down. Enormous nuclear storms registered. Off the charts, gamma particles. Our radiation shielding is gonna have to stay a active over time here. What do we have here? I wonder if it's an extreme hazard planet. Enjoys the hunt. Feasts on radioactive meat. I guess that's a good thing because... I'm guessing everything here is pretty much radioactive meat. Always foraging. Petals. Let's read some of these plants. Trap. Potentially medicinal, so the significant root structure. It's pretty common for radioactive plants to follow this this development chain. Fungal symbiosis. Something about the fungus that protects it from radiation. 
we're gonna be in the shadows soon. No, it's only it's about noon. Well, I'm not gonna take any chances with these predators out there, so I think we'll go ahead and we'll just start by putting these down. As we said, we're gonna work on our Mordite a little bit anyways. All right, now. <laughs> that was the death throw. Sorry. Whoa. The fog is pretty atrocious on this planet. Camping particles are really, really tough to get any kind of visual identification through. It's almost like we're just on top of the world up here, even though we know there's another mountain right down the way. Appears to be significant cave systems. Okay, well, first things first, uh, let's find some bones. We need epic or legendary ancient bones. There's a curious deposit over there. Alas, I do not see any bones with my scanner. Perhaps we thought about this mountain thing the wrong way. Okay, well, let's get the Azure Spark summoned up here. And let's take it for a spin, since we're about to get a pretty extreme storm. And maybe we'll just collect some storm crystals along the way. So it definitely has that high-intensity yellow mist, but this one sort of comes out like a... A lime green, almost. This is a lot of radiation. I'm kind of shocked our sensors haven't started malfunctioning yet. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that did start to happen. Storm crystals seem rather infrequent and sparse. Only, only one at this cluster and the last. Oh, these are interesting creatures. Long-sighted, eats foliage, always watching. Oh, what have we here? Oh, I think we found the intelligent species on the planet. Behavior nervous, eats absorbed nutrients. They definitely have a social pack order. Oh, no. We're going to have to interfere with the... No, no, no. We're just going to leave them be, actually. We're not going to interfere with the natural order of this. Instead... Instead, let's get a gauge on where some, some bones are. There we go. Natural burial site. This is pretty extreme. I don't know how well the picture is going to come out, but I feel like we should take it. Only maybe not right next to the uh, Azure Spark. Or maybe. Maybe it's like this. Maybe this is the picture. It's kind of interesting. What if we cut back the fog density? No, that's just on the planet though, right? See, that doesn't work. Actually, I think that vintage one... I kind of like that. All right, I think that's a good picture. We'll have to see what the next world looks like. I do want to see what the planetary anomaly looks like. I don't think we can just leave it be. All right, the Azure Spark should get us to the uh, natural burial site here in the next 22 seconds, according to our AI navigation data. All right, let's go ahead and part. Mm, looks like there's a couple of them here, actually. Oh, 
Um, is it going to let me tag my exocraft? Okay. Let's just... And I guess that's as, as good as it gets there. Oh, there we go. We'll get those. What's that sound? Something's going on here. Was that just the sound of the storm? Maybe. But at some point, this is going to break into a cave. Exactly. I knew it. I knew it. Why am I hearing a critter? Is there a cave creature in here? Oh, look at these plants. Pleasing aroma. Eats free radicals. Oh, that's kind of neat. Look at them all. I still keep hearing these critters. They must be on the surface. Grawberry. Oh, got to get some of that. All right, well, as cool as this cave is, and I did intentionally want to take a little bit of a detour for it, um, more than anything, we need to find some more ancient bones. Night radiation, day radiation, it's kind of everywhere. Oh, that's what's making the noise, is my custom marker. <laughs> of course it is. All right, we've got the next one identified. And it's only about 45 minutes away, so... Or 45 seconds. 45 minutes. It's only... It's only 45 minutes away by Exocraft. Let's drive. All right? Might as well settle in for the long haul. Oh, look. We have a few of them here. This is good. Ooh, there's some rare bones. And another one. Very good. Alright, now that we know we can leave. I dare say we have seen enough of this this planet. We have an idea of how just truly enormous the nuclear storm is. I think it's safe to say we can depart. I do like the terrain. The dark, dark nebula is always neat on planets at nighttime in these systems. It's dark navy blue. I bet it would give an ice planet a very particular feel. Okay, what have we got? Speaking of, let's look at all of our known planets here. Unknown, known. A contoured planet. I, I feel like we, we kind of have to do that. A pillared planet. Are you kidding me? They keep sending us to the most exotic systems. Boiling planet with aggressive sentinels. It's boiling with an ocean? Okay, this one's kind of neat. Another red ocean. The red star. That's the planetary anomaly. And that's it. Those are the five planets, right? Oh, wow. Um, we might build a base on this one. This one is kind of neat. I, l I like this. Let's... The planetary anomaly is so far away, but I'm thinking if we're going to build a base, it's going to be on that planet. Let's check it out. A minute and a half to get there. We have a little bit of time to think about it. The real question becomes... Do we build the base in the ocean? Or do we build it on land? I bet the ocean looks neat. 
However, my thought process is on a on a greater anomaly planet like this, the terrain is probably more interesting maybe. The ocean is probably not as unique, but also also the uh, a major pull for an ocean base for me is to potentially at one point go back to it and and be able to do like a sunken starship search in a high wealth system like those are where I want my ocean bases are like high wealth systems if it's an uncharted system maybe the ocean base isn't necessary perhaps that's where my head goes but then again looking at this planet there's a lot of ocean there Now, do we want some water? We might go to a place that's maybe more landlocked. I don't know if I like this filter. That's my default filter. And again, we're getting this weird sort of filter here. I don't know what this is all about. Vibrant filter is kind of neat, but... Because if I take it off now... It's still kind of goldenrod, isn't it? But this, this I think, has the potential to be a really neat picture here. So... I like these. I think those are really neat. Let's add for... Okay, so the land looks pretty dense over here where this is going to be sort of a coastline that transitions from... Oh, look, it's like a bay. There we go. That looks like a pretty significant landmass with a coastline. All right, let's see what we have. Coming in straight down. All right, we're gonna pull up. Yep, yeah, there is that that goldenrod. Whoa. It's like we're underwater, but we're not. Maybe that's your picture, right? Is like, is just that. Let's let's get let's get a bird's eye view a little bit. Let's find one of these odd land formations here. I'm not a big fan of this sort of goldenrod appearance. I mean, it's different. I'll give it that. It is different. Oh, look, it goes away when you're next to something, though. It's only things in the distance appear that way. And then when you get close to them, oh, wow. Interesting. I, I think we could do a base here. Electromagnetic power hotspot rank Bravo. You had me at hello. What's the ore here? Phosphorus and silver. Not too shabby, actually. Alright, I don't know if that's how we're going to do things, but let's check it out. weird that it wasn't letting me travel unless I was thrusting. Okay, hold on, hold on. So that's like a phosphorus generation. And then look at this, but look at the terrain. Okay, no, this is neat. Um, you just you only get to see its true color up close. Hmm.
Oh. I was thinking maybe it's up here, but it doesn't look like it is. Oh, maybe it is. Oh, it's going to be close. Oh, maybe it is up here. Oh, that would be great if it is. Oh, wow. Yep. We found our spot for our base right here. Boom. Wow, that's really good. All right. Well, base computer. So what? We're going to want to look overlook the ocean though. I mean, we don't want the right? We want our base to be sort of over here, I'm thinking. It's such an unusual setting for a base, but the base should be here. And in fact, if there is going to be a picture looking over our shoulder, this is where it happens, right? Alright, this is where I want my view to be. So, now, how do we make that happen? Well... The quickest answer is we're going to throw down a base computer, say, here. The Rosny Outpost. Uh, I think we're going to change that name. Yes, I'd like to claim the base. Thank you. Boom. We're going to call this Exploration Outpost. Um, uh, yeah, let's call it, let's, I know Pyrite is Fool's Gold, but let's just call it Fool's Gold. Exploration Outpost Fool's Gold. And, and the reason is because it, it only looks, it only looks gold. Right. It's not. It's not. When you get up close, you see everything for what it is. All right. Let's go ahead and lay down our hot spot because that's a known quantity and there's no reason for us to leave it behind. Right? Did we catch up to it yet? Is it behind us? It's here. Okay. So, let's see. The hot spot is here. Okay, so it could be a little closer. Let's get it exact. Right. Like that. Perfect. It's on it. And this says generating 220 KP just constantly. Constantly. That's. It's just a really beautiful thing. It really is. Okay, and then from here, I think we're just gonna we're gonna run this really long cord up like this because if and when we come here to build a base. We're going to have power already running over here to remind us that we don't have to build anything like that. At least not for 220 KP worth. There you go. And the power is right next to the computer. And that wire is hot. And we'll be able to figure out all kinds of stuff to do with it. Now we can come back at a later date because I do believe this system warrants further exploration. But, I mean, then again, don't they all? Don't they all? All right, let's depart the gravity well of that planet and get in a position to summon the anomaly. All right, let's enter the Nexus.
Ah, uh, yes. And we're back. Back again to get some quick silver. I'd like to complete this mission, please. Thank you for the nip-nip buds. Don't know if we need those, but I mean, we have them, right? We can sell these things. We need to get this stuff straight straightened out here. The infection. How about if we send it to my freighter, huh? Still got some pretty interesting shit. Whoa, some pretty interesting ships. That's an interesting hauler. I've got this very peculiar hunch that not every single ship that comes in here is a 38 plus 12 S class. Maybe. Maybe. But. I have a hunch that's not the case. Let's go ahead and depart the Nexus so we can go back home to our. to our. to the Thranksian Expanse. And then we'll get our freighter in a position over in an orbit over our base. Oh no. We have ship combat from coming out of the Nexus. Really? Okay. And me without my uh, heavy fighter. It's okay. The Kat Saddam's coup will handle this fairly well. No stranger to entering combat immediately after a gateway. There we go. Just got to lead right into that little spot. The sweet's targeting spot. There it is. Alright, let's boost around this ship. Yep, right through the solar panels. This looks like we have two of them out here. Not leading it properly. Alright, some reverse Gs. Wow. That's pretty intense on the system there. Targeting, targeting. Acquiring target. There it is. Excellent. And all the names for all the bases have been forever warped, I'm guessing. I don't know. I speak to the commander. Nobody wants to talk to you. Yeah. I'm not so concerned with all of that, everyone. What I would like to do is enter low orbit over the Thranxian colony that's beginning and put our freighter in orbit. Is it maybe here? Too close to planet, it says. Yep. There it is. Boom. And our expeditions have likely returned. This is where we'll have to kick off the beginning of the next episode. Let's see if we can't get all the nameplates on the bases to get straightened out. Perhaps, 
Perhaps it means more visiting. I think that's where we're going to end this episode, though. Until next time. Take care.